Copilot Plus are a very big deal and here's what you should know before you make any decision. The first and foremost obvious update that the Copilot Plus pieces are getting is the AI architecture in itself and how this is going to impact the way that we are going to interact with our Windows PCs hereafter. And some of the features or the demos that they previewed at the event was mind blowing, especially like the buff that Paint is getting is kind of extraordinary. Besides that, there's also this feature that's called Recall, which allows the user to get screenshots of the work that they go through in an entire month or week and then recall them as memories by just entering a prompt and looking back into those specific details in the past week. So this is kind of a handy feature if you're not good at remembering things or if you want to get a picture of the entire workflow that you went through at a specific time of a day. And it's kind of a big deal. But What's the bigger update here is not just the fact that they're getting AI incorporated into Windows PCs. So the big uh, hardware change is going to be the fact that these uh, Copilot Plus PCs are going to get an NPU, which is a, a neural processing unit. And this actually combines the CPU and the GPU. And what's happening with the AI now is that it will be processed in your laptop itself, which they are calling edge computing. So earlier, whatever processing that the AI was doing was through the cloud, the Azure cloud by Microsoft. And now it's going to be happening in the laptop itself or the PC itself, which is the edge of the computing. So for those of you all who might be worried, like it's going to, you know, take screenshots of my work and, you know, share with them and blah, blah, blah. I believe this should somewhat explain things. But yeah, you still have the option to turn these features off if you're, if you're not a fan of it. But the bigger deal here is the fact that now that ARM architecture is coming to Copilot Plus PCs and now they can go head to head with Mac. Yeah, and Mac's got the upgrade to uh, silicon chipsets a couple of years ago and they're performing great, especially for like video editing or any other workflow. It's just an amazing beast of a machine. And now I think Windows is getting closer, but they're only comparing this to the MacBook Airs, which is just the first step. And let's see how they can put out like, you know, a M3 Max kind of a chipset or an Ultra chipset, which I'm looking forward to. However, what are your thoughts about these new Copilot Plus PCs? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, find it useful, leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next one.